Hi, and welcome to the SDGs in the Library Field Ignite Talk. I'm Jan Holmquist. I'm an educated librarian, former library director, and now I'm a self-employed consultant working mainly with libraries, learning programs, strategies, and sustainable development goals. There are 17 sustainable development goals, and they are divided into 169 sub-targets. But one thing that is very important to remember is that they are all interconnected. It does not make sense to only focus on a few of them because they are all interconnected. No one will be left behind. That is one of the visions that lies underneath the sustainable development goals. No matter what sex, sexuality, color, religion, handicap, etc. a person might have, we leave no one behind. The SDGs are very ambitious. One of the under underlying things that the UN wants to achieve with fulfilling the goals in 2030 is to empower all people, protect the planet and actively support a prosperous life for all humans. To be able to reach these goals, we all need to work together. All libraries, all governments, all nations, all companies, all communities, we must work together to reach the goals in 2030. What we know from the ongoing pandemic and a lot of other problems that we face in the world, that global problems require global solutions. And libraries are a global network of learning institutions, knowledge institutions and cultural institutions, uh, and they're everywhere that the people on the planet are. A library should always focus on the community that it's a part of, the community it serves. But trying to reach global goals, we should also focus on what we can do together with other libraries elsewhere on the globe. So what skills do we need as librarians to be able to do all this? Well, we must have basic knowledge about the SDGs and we must be able to translate them into meaningful and tangible goals for the community that the libraries are part of and we need to actively support and connect citizens so they can make projects that have an impact on the SDGs. We as librarians need to share what we're learning from working with the SDGs and to learn from what others are sharing and we need to keep an eye out for this interconnectedness between the SDGs. Libraries are in the fields of all knowledge so we're well into all the SDGs and we need to secure that no one is left behind and that also includes non-library users. We need to partner up with organizations and groups of citizens that have strengths that we don't have to be able to have the maximum impact in our projects. And this is the most important slide. The SDGs should be part of every existing library strategy and every non-existent when it's made <laughs> as well. So, just to say it once more, the SDGs should be part of every existing library strategy and they should be that in a meaningful way. Not just because, once more, that it looks good to have them there, but because it is extremely important. And it's important because the strategic view and what we put in our strategies keeps us on track and it secures that we're actually aware, not just today and tomorrow, uh, but in the long run, on the difference that the SDGs can make in our world and should make in our world. In the Danish debate, we have a saying, World goals should be everyday goals. It's important that the SDGs are part of all people's everyday lives. And we must do that to have maximum impact for supporting the SDGs on both a local and a global level. To be able to do all this, we need to be just as ambitious as the UN when they made the Sustainable Development Goals. We need to have easy access to basic learning about the SDGs for all librarians. We also need to be able to meet up in online knowledge circles to share ideas and learnings from the projects we're doing in smaller groups on a global level. And we need a platform for sharing the stories about the projects that we're making in the library world, sharing them with other libraries and librarians elsewhere to inspire each other. Because he who wants the world to remain as it is doesn't want it to remain at all. 
That's important to remember now that we're all working towards a better future for all of us on the planet. Please keep in touch. I'm glad to be part of the ongoing conversation. So please reach me on Twitter, on my blog, or uh, on email, and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you very much.